ain't been up on the block in a minute. Uh, I've been missing out the walk with the minute. Uh, uh, I've been building up the blocks like a me. Uh, uh, Elliot got water dripping out the city. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, he got his glide. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, that boy on top. Uh, what up, Ben? It's John, it's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. I'm here at the new track, actually just dropped today by my boy Falcon on HSM. Uh, it's called Adrenaline. Uh, I gotta say, man, I wrote some pretty fun laps on here. This is actually a really fun free track. Um, I'm super excited that I felt like this was his first track. First track. He said that it made uh, that he did it in about 140 hours. It took him 140 man hours. So we're here on the KTM 250 with a couple HSM friends and a whole bunch of other guys. Two we can get into. Um, yeah, let's go. Motocross. He does have some fun, cool little stuff uh, to do. He has like a whole bunch of uh, some ramps and another little fun thing to complete. It's like another little. I don't know. It's just kind of rollers, I should say. But this is the main track. So he's got like a. He's got the rollers. He's got the main track and um, some fun little jumps to do. So it should be pretty sick to come on here and find some cool content. But to try to make it through the pack. I have seen a. Uh, good amount of people do 125s because i think a 125 is actually pretty fun on this track but i chose to stick with the ktm 250 because i just got this uh kelso cup kind of skin on with that also being said we did drop and uh kelso cup is now fully released the website is fully up um so hopefully you guys go check that out link will be down in the description below i am starting my own kelso cup series um i thought it's gonna be pretty fun and uh yeah let's just try to focus up i guess i don't know i feel like i don't know too much of this track so try to not necessarily just yap since that's like everybody's favorite word these days is oh why are you yapping <laughs> sure whatever that means buckaroo so but i do like it it's got a good it's got a good like uh texture to it to where it's not super slidey it's got some grip um pretty good jumps i would say for i believe this like i said this is i believe this is his first track and for a first track which i'm ojing a lot i can definitely see that it's made more or less for a smaller bike but i think for the most part as long as you can scrub hard you sh should be able to get on any bike you want but being wide open on this track with like fifth gear pin 125 i think you'll be just fine but this is a dub if i've ever seen one sand's not too hard um doesn't look like it has a lot of ruts or anything in there other than like it's pre-made little berms and i like that i really do you know you don't want to be going through a sand section not even being able to try to make it so and these these jumps are just fine man i was that like an oasis behind me in front of us i don't know if you guys seen that in the distance that was like a little water pool thing it's probably keeping an orca in there or something <laughs> that's uh, pretty dope yeah whatever that is it definitely looks like a little ocean or something like that. i don't know like a lagoon pretty nice but we are in third place four seconds five seconds off the winner i mean the leader i said winner <laughs> the leader right now so let's see if we can focus up these are some pretty short races i think he's like literally got him down to like three minutes or something three minutes plus one so i think he's just trying to get some really fun fast laps i mean races out which i'm all for at the end of the day keeps people getting back and trying to train up on him but so far, the fastest I've ran on this track was a 117. Um, it said I was projected to run a 115. So I was able, I, I'm able to shave down two seconds somewhere. It's about just not messing up. So when we get to that part, we'll get to that part, which I think we might be able to run it here if we don't mess up. Thoughts? Let's take this middle rut. I do like this middle rut. I feel like I can keep a lot of speed going through here. They just got to watch out for over jumping some of this stuff and under jumping. It's just very hard to uh, get down packed at first, but man, I gotta say, man, I was having been having a lot of fun with these free tracks, dude. Especially at Callum coming out with the Countryside SX. That was super sick. That was fun um, to ride and kind of do a short when Smokey kind of Smokester um, kind of challenged me and a couple other content creators. So that was cool. Definitely took that challenge and had a fun blast with it. Still waiting for my Dairy Queen Smokey. Um, but so far Falcon, I gotta say man, this track runs very smooth. You will see this on my uh, live streams for sure um, Possibly running this track tonight on my stream. So you guys will see this tomorrow the day of MXGP um, It's gonna be preseason at Hawkstone and I will be doing amateurs 
I believe I'm going to be on the Kawasaki. I don't know. When the track comes out and we practice, I'm going to be going between the Kawasaki and the KTM and just whatever I feel the most comfortable with, I'm going to be doing it. So, and also, if you guys haven't, you know, checked out my Kawasaki setup that I did drop for MXGP, hope you guys give it a go. Um, you know, I know a lot of people might not know too much about setups and all that, which I perfectly don't know either. But as, like, I progressively sit there as other people make setups for me and all that and kind of just hear what they have to say i think it's a dub so i try to soak in as much as i can and i've learned a little bit of things you know to where it's like i could potentially uh be learning and picking up on the on the craft so that right that section right there where the sand is i don't okay right felt it i felt like he had the opening i didn't even know that was the leader to be honest with you oh man i'm like halfway off the track can we push? Ah! It's a big jump. I guess I could have actually possibly got first place here. I guess I'll send it for the mother Russia. Oh man, fell. RIP. All right, don't send the wall. <laughs> don't send the wall. I think I, I, oh, he got six seconds of cuts. I actually could beat him right here. Wow, I did. I beat him. He cut the track. W. All right, so we weren't able to get another race on Falcon's new track. Uh, everybody ended up getting off so i thought it, you know more than anything we'll just get some nice mxgp uh practice in we're here at lombardia <laughs> the greatest free mxgp track i ever think of and uh yeah man i don't know i'm excited sipping on my yak same as the corona as we go and i'm on the kawasaki 250 i just released this uh like i said i just released this setup so hopefully you guys give it a go hope you guys enjoy it but it looks a little gloomy out today see if we can get a good little a little nice little race in. I don't know if anybody's fast or anything or what's going on in this John, but get active with it. Drop that gate. Nice little start. I mean I gotta say with the with the with the rod length switching, it probably was the best decision I could ever ask for. Because now this bike is just zooming and I get a lot of power in second gear, so I just Okay, I don't know what that was. Looks like my bike didn't want to stand back up halfway through, so unfortunate we'll just go ahead and take out this outside as we see masty now, i really want to test this because masty's doing amateurs as well and he's on the ktm which is the bike i want to use or kind of the two bikes i've been going back and forth with so i really want to put this to the test right now and he's on my team so i know he's probably using the same exact um setup as i am so i really want to i really want to test it out and see who has like the better speed I love reeling this outside, but honestly, so far, I think the Kawasaki might just be the win here. I don't know. It's just, it's there. I think we got some 450s pushing up right now. And a little OJ over that. Yeah, I don't know. The rod length now, switching up into the highest, just gives so much power in second gear. And I think that's what I was lacking a little bit. So I like knowing that. Do like railing some of these outsides, just kind of like alleviating some of the pressure from some of these bumps, knowing that like, hey, might be somebody behind you trying to do the exact same thing. So just want to take it nice and smooth on this first lap as my boy Ozgod almost looped the looped that KTM 450, which I think the 450 is going to be a huge force to be reckoned with um, on the outdoors as he freaking goes high, put Bobo bounce. But man, so far... I gotta say, the Kawasaki is just feeling so amazing, dude. Getting nice and tight. I did use that. I, I am using that uh, one sound mod for the KTM. I think it's like the Kawasaki one. Go back down the second. Oh, I can't believe I saved that. Let's go. I'm just gonna take the outside effort. I ain't gonna try to battle him that. But this is another test right here to see which one's, which one's better. Which one's better? Because he's moving and grooving, but so am I, baby. Oh, got him, dude. I, dude, I think I got this freaking, I think I got this bike dialed, dude. I'm not going to lie. He went pretty high off that jump, even though he did o OJ. I'm just going to say it right now. I think I got this bike freaking dialed. Guys, this might go ahead and pull, pull the strings out for me right now and make my decision. Like I said, D1 bound, signing the papers. Kawasaki just might be that freaking move. And once again, like, I'm not gatekeeping this. Like, you guys have the same setup, so... If this is, if you guys made it this far in the video, I know I'm going to be showing off Falcon's track first, but if you guys made it this far, man, this might prove 
It looked like a Starbucks. I mean, come on. I've always knew that Kawasaki's gonna be that guy, man. I think, like I said, I was just finding that those little little things to mix up. So now, since there's no one close to me, I can literally get into these ruts and know it's only gonna be me that's messing myself up. I'm not. I don't feel rushed from behind and or someone else trying to get in the rut messes up. So I can like literally take them. It's like out, get out of that rut. But Hawkstone, man, I think it's gonna be cool. I saw the picture on it on MX Bike Shop. Um, it looks pretty beautiful. Um, so I'm super excited for when that track comes out. And for practicing, man, MXGP, MXGP is going to be a fun season. I didn't get to do any of that last year because I had to go to Hawaii. So saw it all through like YouTube and streams. So this is going to be really fun. I'm super excited. And um, yeah, super excited to participate in a lot of this stuff. I felt like a lot of things that I really wanted to get my dip my feet in, at least for an amateur's perspective last year. I just couldn't. I was gone for like three months. By the time I came back, I was so behind the curve. It was just like, yep, time to just learn, you know? So this year doing a lot of amateur stuff is going to be worth it and then, you know, really focus on the off season trying to go for pro and you know, you, you never know like I might be ready for pro now. Um, I think it's just little kinks that I still got to work out within myself for me to fill it, but we're getting there, man. We're definitely getting there. I'm not rushing. I'm not trying to rush myself either. Rushing myself would only hurt myself in the long run. You know, if I'm not ready, I'm not ready, you know. I think, I think my biggest thing is I'm learning the skill set to be very fast, a lot of corner speed. It's just about being consistent for a very long time. Because MXGP right now, dude, is what? Two 30-minute motos? That's probably where the most consistency is going to come, right? Like, I think I was talking about being consistent in Supercross because, you know, it's just about, like, staying in the same little loop-de-loop -loop track and hitting the same triple, double, and just having the right momentum. But here, dude, just breaking down the E-road, being able to get through the track, so, and being able to do this for 30 minutes, so. I don't know if that changes from amateur's perspective to where it's only two 20-minute plus ones. I think maybe it is, but I guess we'll have to find out. But I'll be ready. I hope I'm ready. I hope I get to qualify. I've been saying multiple times, it's just a different beast. Just a different beast um, doing this doing outdoors because there's so many people that ride outdoors more than they ride uh indoors so and as i'm sliding out so i gotta i gotta figure out that right there that's that's kind of crazy you got a little need some more grip but then again it might be i don't know it looks very gloomy from re what it regularly is i don't know if like tracks a little wet or what no rain happening uh surprisingly so it's just a pretty whatever day right but Kawasaki's feeling great. Kawasaki's feeling great. There we go. I don't know why. A lot of people take that inside, but this is so fun reeling this outside. I can't lie. I feel like I keep up a lot of momentum. I keep up a lot of momentum there. And I felt like I was going to take that outside too, but I guess I'll take that one. Let's go down the first gear. Get a lot of engine braking in there. Maybe second gear, back wheel. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like that a lot. I'm not running any drastic rate, like, you know, not running any, like, crazy laps either. I'm kind of just racing my race, you know? I think I've always been like that. Like, I think, like, when I really settle down, no talk and all that, I could probably run a pretty fast lap, but I've, I think I've just acquired this really cool skill to where, like, I can talk and try and ride. And I think that's, like, the coolest thing of becoming, like, a YouTuber or a content creator is just you know you got to be able to show off skills but also talk to your audience and i'm glad that like over time i just continuously got not i shouldn't say great at it because you know i still mess up myself and i'm not running at a thousand percent but who does when you're talking right you're still trying to focus words and put words into a sentence and write a track but i for the most part i feel like i've i've been pushing p on that so i do appreciate you guys out there man we're on the road to almost 6300s uh oh, uh, uh oh, <laughs> we're almost we're on the road to almost 6,300 subs, dude. Going for that 7K, man. You guys have been making a dream come true, and I've always wanted to do YouTube for a very long time. Just the cards weren't right, bro. Cards were not right, but I feel like right now is the best time, and you guys have shown that like I should have been doing this a very long time ago, dude. So gonna keep cranking it out, having fun with the community. You guys are such a dub. Appreciate you guys, and once again, like I said, I won't. This isn't like the video to promote what I've been wanting to promote but Kessel Cup man fully live today link will be down in the description man I 
super excited. We've got, I think Stratos hit me up and said we've already got like 10 signups so far out of 132 players. So I'm not like saying like, oh, wow, that's like, you know, like, like a lot of you guys be like, well, that's that's like nothing compared. But like we literally just probably went live as I'm recording this probably like three, four hours ago, you know, so to have like 10 people sign up is really cool. And for anybody to actually want to actually participate and sign up is actually even a more of a dub. So I do appreciate you guys even wanting to do that and sign up. Um, yeah. Kapow. But yeah, Kawasaki. I'll put that link down in the description as well if you guys do want this uh, bike. I felt like this right now is some justice. Not riding any crazy, just staying consistent. Uh, there, I think there's going to be times when I need to push this bike. But right now, focus on literally consistency. And kaboom goes to dynamite just like that. It's over. <laughs> G G pop 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 pop. Hey.